Hey, what's up guys? This is the update of the 16-112 terabyte for the month of... We are in June, so it's available now for Patreon. Thanks for all Patreon, all supporter on Discord. So uh, you can update when you see the video. We are the 12, so you can jump on the server. Uh, it's available now for Patreon and for free users. It's going to be available the first uh, of uh, next month, so July. So in this wonderful update, what's the number of this update? 51, I guess? Wait a second. Where is it? Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm just reading my files. I already <laughs> doing the next update 52. So this is the update 51. Sorry. So update 51. Um, the light gun on the 16 terabyte. You can watch the other video, but mostly you have a ton of new flash game, new PC game. There is a new way to set up your gunfire button to have a, a up screen reload. Uh, you have uh, master quit all games from the pressing the back and start button. Also, uh, you have the, uh, the new wiki installation and the new wiki set your gun very well explained on the, the wiki now. And I suggest guys, every time you do an update on Syncovery, I suggest because sometimes I'll update the VCC runtime from Microsoft and stuff like that. So it's good sometime after an update, you read down the one click, it takes two minutes. So you will have the uh, updated driver and game fix, okay? So after any update on your two terabyte, four terabyte, one terabyte or uh, 16 terabyte, just do read down the one click. You will have new stuff and updated stuff, okay? The R drive is officially uh, is officially because the way I explain it, sometimes people say, Oh, you don't sell the hard drive. No, no, okay. The hard drive is always available. The hard drive, R drive, is always available to purchase. He has all the game as described on my site. He has the uh, the hard drive, as the um, uh, switch game, PC game, light gun games, and VR games. Okay. It's available, but the drive is full. There is no space for more game. So for the past three months, I offer everybody to update it. Uh, it was explained on every video. And don't ask me to add it on the server. It's removed from the server now, okay? So uh, if you did update your hard drive three months ago or something like that, you're fine, okay? It's up to date, don't worry. So uh, now, on every single update in the future, you update the D drive, and if you have the S drive, the new S drive, you update it. That's where all the new game, the new PC game, the new VR game, the new uh, light gun games, and more and more Switch, uh, you update your S drive. So every month, you start your D when it's finished, you, you do your S if you have the S drive. All right. So uh, the S drive is almost 90% full. So now uh, any free user, when I mean free user, if you're not Patreon, you can buy the S drive now, okay? Because it's almost full and you will have the update until it's full. Uh, and Patreon, you can have also the uh, S drive and have all the updates. But Patreon, usually was the deal with Patreon is when you are Patreon, you can update early and you have a faster update, a faster scan and a faster download, okay? So S drive is available, it's updatable on the server, R drive is removed and you do your D drive. All right, and for the light gun, it's the same update as the two terabyte. So you just watch or read the log from the, uh, on the Discord. So everything that has been added and modified on the two terabyte 
it's available. This is the same, same update on the 60 terabyte. Uh, a massive, a massive 300 new game on the S drive. A ton of new VR games like Madison VR, uh, Convergence, and so on and so on. And 300 new PC games. Eh, my God. Uh, some games are classic retro games that I, I miss uh, over time. I did add classic PC game, retro game, uh, a ton. You can just open your S drive, the PC folder in uh, per date or something like that, and you will see all the new games. There's a ton, a ton of new game. Let me just uh, go on the PC game. Now we pass the cap of the uh, 3000 PC game. Oh my god. 3235 uh, uh, games on the PC game. And all games are good. Okay? A ton. A ton of new PC games. Uh, oh yeah, Zakaria, I just heard it. Uh, what's new, what's new, what's new? New Techno Pirate. Um, Bug Buster on Techno Pirate is new. Demon Bride. Let's jump on the... Uh, arcade board. Techno Pirate. Why oh, yeah, I'm in the... Uh, okay. Yeah, ton of Techno Pirate this month. So let's go on the Xbox controller. Uh, but so now there is 303, 303 Techno Pirate games. Uh, Bugbuster, Damon Bride, Hyper Sport, Densha Digo plus Densha Digo Retro One and Two. Thanks for uh, Sebastian on Discord. Uh, yeah, Sebastian helped me to find a new game on Retro uh, for uh, uh, Techno Pirate. Very good. And bug fix because Techno Pirate is difficult to set up. Uh, Sometimes it's a nightmare. You need to find a fix and fix and fix and update Techno Pirate. But all those games should work. Also, a new game Ch Chaos Code. New sign of catastrophe, Pac-Man Chum, and Go Go Strike. A new arcade game. I did add uh, Nintendo on the arcade main. Uh, I did remove the Nintendo versus system. So now when you go on the mains, uh, I'm on the arcade. If you go on mains, There is Nintendo versus system. Wait a second. Uh, yeah. No, this is all the main, sorry. Yeah, this one. Where's the Nintendo? It's a new wheel and all the game, uh, yeah, I just saw it. Yeah, this one, arcade versus uh, system. And those games are in the main wheel, actually. So the uh, main, main wheel uh, did grow up from 36 games. So you have all the main versus system. I know some people will like it. You know all the versus uh, Duck uh, versus Mario. And because I used to have it, I removed them because it was re really hard to make them work properly. Control uh, side. But now I'll should works okay very cool uh, ultra 64 killer and stank one and two I think I fix it I changed the emulator um, the, the, uh, ultra 64 where's the ultra 64 is it there where did I put it on the arcade board Wait a second. Yeah, this one, Ultra 64. 
so it was added in the uh, board arcade, okay? It's only Keller and Stang 1 and 2, but uh, a new uh, setup. Da -da -da -da. Uh, in console, I have uh, one system. That's a long time ago, I did add a console. Console, there is, uh, what's the name? It's a weird system, Phantom System and Sega Pico. Not the best, but uh, maybe some, it will uh, revive some nostalgia for some people. So two new, uh, what's the name, new Phantom. Phantom and Sega Pico, yeah. Wait a second, Sega Pico. Yeah, I used to have Sega Pico a long time ago. I just read add it. I revive it. <laughs> uh, and Phantom. To be honest, I never heard about this system. I just discovered it. This one, Phantom system. Ah, oh, it's a um, it's a NES. It's a, a Spanish version of NES. Oh, I'm missing some video. Okay, yeah. It's a Spanish version of the NES. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Yay, it's a new system. Uh, new computer. I did add um, MX, MSX2 Plus and MSXR on computer. I know last month I did add a ton of computer. If you didn't know, I did add, uh, I have 80, so I think I did add eight or 10 new uh, computer. And this month, the MS6 was missing. I have all the computer, it just, I did remove some over time because uh, it didn't work well, uh, need fix. The game didn't work properly and stuff like that because some emulator are so old some tiny break over time. So where's, but I managed to uh, re-add the MS6. MS6-2 was there. MX2, MS6-2 Plus is new. And MS6 Turbo R was added, okay? Some people will enjoy it. I fixed and recovery uh, boot. Uh, what I mean is, because when you do your sync recovery, uh, when you do your sync recovery every month, you need to shut down the retro bees, right? So when you were going on the system, on the setting, and you were launching uh, sync recovery, retro bees was running. This didn't make sense, all right? So when you're gonna boot uh, this one, it's gonna close the, it's gonna close Retro beast, so makes sense. Uh, backup maker, the application was updated, the latest version. All right. Uh, oh yeah, and as well, uh, I did re uh, update every single emulator. Okay, I have a ton. If you don't know, I have. Uh, actually, I need to have one hundred AB emulator okay and I have I have I have more okay a ton of them I cannot update it there is old emulator that didn't have any update for the past 20 years or 15 years I'm talking about old emulator for computer and stuff like that some are really old but uh, I have a ton I need to update like the PS3 the Dolphin and so on and so on they are all updated uh, like every month, I just forget to mention. Okay, Xenu Xbox, do not auto update on boot uh, because I update the, the auto update was enabled. So when you were booting Xbox game, you did have a notification for update. Now it's removed. So I will update it, and you just need to do your sync recovery to update it. Simple as that. I low the resolution. I'm very sorry. For some reason, my, the Xbox emulator, the Xenu, was set to six times the resolution. But no one has a PC to run six times the resolution. So 
a ton of game was running slow. So if you did boot some Xbox game and have problem, now it is going to be set at 3x. Okay, I think 2x or 3x. That's plenty enough and it's very beautiful. Just compare the, the, the NetSafe resolution up to two times and three times. It, it's very beautiful and it's running uh, very fast at 60 frames. Okay, so I lower it now. Uh, if you go on the setting, there is a low spec and high spec. So low spec is going to be like two or three times. And I spec is going to be three or four times or maybe something higher. But you can set low spec or I spec for uh, Xbox and it's fixed now. So uh, I apologize. Six times it was crazy. Uh, global control at key for save and load access the emulator. Oh yeah, I recheck. I recheck all the emulator, the uh, save and load. Mostly all emulator, I don't know if you can see my uh, box, but if you're in a game like MAME or uh, Dolphin or Wii game or any game, you usually you press select and X to save, select and Y to load your uh, save state. Okay, it's not a save game, it's a save state. Uh, but some game use the old fashioned, you need to press on your joystick, you, you press it, so when you press your joystick, it's F5, and when you press your right joystick, it's F8 on the keyboard. So F5, left joystick, when you press it in game, it's save and load, okay? If it doesn't work, it's the back and X or back and Y, okay? I don't have any choice because some emulator doesn't support the combo uh, back and X, back and Y. So I need to set them as F5 and F8. So what I mean, I'm going to explain. If you boot RetroBees, every time you boot RetroBees, you have Joy2Key running on the, I'm going to, on the background. So if you press Home, if you open Joystick Key, Joystick Key is the small controller, this one. If you check where my mouse is moving, uh, Joystick Press, okay, Joystick Click, equal F5, and the other one, Left Joystick Press, equal F8. So you can, actually, you can save most of the, the game with F5 on your keyboard. But I map it on your uh, Xbox, so you don't need to use uh, a keyboard, all right? So that's the functionality. But main, uh, it's back and X to save and back and Y to load, okay? It's the same X and Y, save and load, is the same as your favorite. If you go in main and you press Y without the back, now you have your favorite, same thing, all right? So you press Y again, you come back to your full list. If you want to add a game like 1942, you press X, it will be in favorite. You press Y to see the favorite, and 1942 is in the favorite, all right? So X and Y, add and see favorite, and save its back. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go on the Discord on the control, I have a bunch of shortcuts when you press back. You can take a screenshot back and the pad uh, right. It's a screenshot of save a video, okay? But you need a hotkey to do that. It's a combo on your, uh, okay? I cannot set only one button to do something. You need a combo and the combo is the back. So back, uh, X, it's save, uh, back and Y, load. A uh, full screen is back in uh, R2 or LT, name it. Uh, screenshot, uh, volume up and down and stuff like that. So I map the, the most common. Um, I'll pause the game. I also have a pause back, uh, back in uh, L2, LT, and full screen is back in RT. All right? So everything is explained on the Discord, if you didn't know. Uh, and quit is back and start to quit any game. 
Okay, what else on the my wonderful update? Global control, Xenia. Uh, oh, I rearranged the Xenia for Xbox 360 to help the performance. So it's running at 1080p uh, and Direct 12 now. So it run better. I changed it. It was set to 720p. So you will have better quality now on the Xbox 360, okay? And you still have the low spec and high spec if you have a low PC or high-end PC on the setting. Uh, and switch now, reach 7,000 a game. Uh, let's see the total. Switch are on the Q drive the R drive and the new S drive. And I still have more to add. Look at that, seven, 71,000 games. Oh my God. Uh, and next update, all emulator running all the 7,000 games switch will run on Rio Jinx, okay? Now, the way set on this update is you have Rio Jink emulator running the new Switch game from the S drive, okay? And for the Q drive and R drive is running now on this update with the uh, Yuzu, okay? But damn, Rio Jink is so good. You can run any game, old game and new game. So to make everything easier, instead of having two emulator, you're booting a game with Yuzu, booting a game where, you know, it doesn't make sense. So now every, every, every single game will run with Ryu Jing, but on the next update, okay? Just, just to let you know. And for next update, I have a ton. I'm working on, uh, on racing games. PC racing game, and I did add a ton of new racing game on the S drive, okay? So that will become on the next, next update. All right, guys, enjoy. The beast is the best. Everything run flawless. Everything is test. I make sure everything run flawless. Thanks for all the Discord comments, for feedback, because the beast cannot be the beast without all your feedback. Every time you, you report a game that doesn't work, something that needs a fix, it's always a good idea to jump in for me and re-scan and recheck what's the problem. So, because, so don't be shy. If you find a problem, share it on, on, on Discord. It will be a pleasure to fix it because if I fix it just for you, I fix it for a thousand of people and the bees will get better every time. But to be honest, we don't have too much, we don't have that much uh, problem report of game that doesn't boot or stuff like that. But if you find it, man, it's going to be a pleasure. It will, instead of uh, being 98% uh, Good, it's gonna be 99% good. All right, thanks for watching, guys. You're the best, and again, thanks for all the, the supporter Patreon. Thanks for all the, the helper on this card that uh, help other buyers' problem. And you know your name because there is a few now, but uh, I appreciate your times. Uh, what I want is. I want to everybody helping everybody, okay? Because some other buyer, they have the retro bees for three years, two years, five years, one month. And you like helping other people, don't be shy. You can share your experience. Some people, some people are new. Sometimes they are lost a little bit. They need a little bit help to, you know, just to understand. And when you buy the bees, Take your time, play around one week, two weeks before, you know, some people, they jump on question, well, what's happening, what's happening? Just take time to play around and everything will be easy.
because the beast is the best. You have all the game. Everything has been tested. Everything you see on the retro beast has been tested. If it's not working, I remove it until it's going to be fixed. So I'm very proud of it. We have the best collection of PC games, Switch, best collection of uh, Techno Pirate. It's amazing. All the mains, all the, the arcade. There's a ton, a ton, a ton of game to play around. And I know it's a lot of game, but you get the power of choice. All right? So you can play anything. You have the power to choose the game you, you want to play. All right? Hey, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next update, guys. I enjoyed the update 51. And uh, yeah. So big update on the S drive, big update on Techno Pirate, uh, new wiki installation for light gun and stuff like that. Uh, all emulator are up to date. The save and load has been fixed for all the emulator. Now you can save and load. And don't forget, you can back up all your save if you need to. It's not an obligation, but you can save. If you have some important save, you can use the backupper before your recovery and restore all your save uh, games. Peace out, guys. See you on next update.